Running from the shadow, lost in the night. Gotta be brave and have no fear. Fighting for the fight. What is going on guys? My name is T-Brits and today we are back with part one of my birthday sort of series that I'm going to do. I'm going to do about three or four videos this week going over everything I get for my birthday, which pretty much all pertains to the YouTube channel, as well as hopefully do some sort of video testing out my equipment that I've been getting, as well as a video on... I'm going to try to get out a montage. I've been working on it for a while. Hopefully it all goes as planned. But today, let's get into the unboxing. This has been something I've wanted for a long time, but I wasn't sure if I should put down all the money for it, because it is pretty expensive, especially when you, like, make it really cool like I wanted to. And so I've wanted this for a long time, and I didn't really have the money, but now I finally am able to get it, and I have gotten it in the mail. I'm super excited for it. I haven't used it yet. I did take it out of the box once just to make sure everything was there and ready, so that everything was ready for the unboxing video. So let's get started. I'm going to bring it onto my table here. Also, sorry about the lighting. It's not very good, but yes, yeah, so let's take it out of the box here. It is pretty nice and snug. I'm going to try to get it out here without any trouble. Alright, so here it is. Scuff. This is a scuff controller. I've like really wanted these, one of these for a long time. I thought it was always like really cool with the paddles on the back and everything. So here's the box. I got it for the PS4 because that is the console that I've been using and will use for probably five to six years until the next console comes out. So yeah, here here it is. It in the flesh. I think it looks really cool. Um and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's we'll take it out of this sleeve here. You got the sleeve. And then you have just this white box. So you open the lid. Then make sure nothing falls out. You have this right here that kind of shows you everything that you can do with it. I'll just take that out too. That covers up the actual controller, which we'll get to in a second. I think it looks ridiculously awesome. You guys can kind of read that a little bit. It's just a little bit talking about the controller. I think it goes over how to set it up. Let's see. And what what features it includes or may include. And it gives you just basically an overview of the controller. So here it is, guys. This is my scuff controller that I got in the mail. It looks absolutely sick. Let's take it out of the packaging. And this is it. I mean, it's. I think it looks ridiculously awesome. I got the orange paint job on it, which is like, it's like the orange digital. Then I got my red grips on the back. They're like rubberized grips. I have the, see, see the paddles on the back. That's what the stuff is designed for. You basically just click them and they rest while you're holding the controller. They rest on the back of your fingers. So basically you can click them with ease. And then I also increased the, I don't, doubt you guys can see that, but I increased the size of the sticks to a medium, which is a, just a teeny bit larger and longer than the original six that come with the PS4, and I really like, they, they made the whole stick differently, it has, it feels more lubricated, as well as, it like, it's not the same material that the original PS4 sticks are made out of, which is good, because my pads were rubbing off of them, so I don't think that would be an issue with this controller, it, every, it's pretty normal, it's the exact same controller as the, the PS4 controller, is very, very similar, minus the things on the back, as well as the grips and the sticks and everything like that. And that's pretty much all I did. I also did get one more thing that I'll put on the controller in a minute. But everything's pretty much the same, except for one thing that I like realized right as I took it out of the package was that each button just seems to be a little bit more stiff than the normal controller, and it takes a little bit more effort to push them, which I actually like because that, that way you don't accidentally press a button while you're trying to play the game. But it feels really good in the hands. I wasn't sure about the paddles and like how they would work or if they would give them away at all, and they do not, especially since you can just take them off if you don't like them, but I will definitely not do that, I'll use them the entire time. So hopefully this will increase my gaming performance as it says on the box, so we'll check that out. Also in the package you can see it comes here, I'll just leave this up in here, but basically after you take out the controller you've got this like foam thing that it comes with, it's just boring. And then we have this keychain, as well as I ordered the fangs, because I wasn't sure if I would like need them or not, and I, I'd like them. I don't know if they're going to be kind of getting away, because they are a bit longer, and I think they're made for having two fingers on them at a time, because they have these like grooves in them. You can see them in the package right there. I got them red so that they match the controller. Let's take these out. 
They're just little plastic things that you clip onto the back of the triggers to make them just a little bit longer so that you can um, do stuff like that. So yeah, they're also labeled so I can, this one goes on R2, so you can clip that on. Might have to go, yeah, there we go. Alright, so that you hear that nice click. And then you got the LT1. Place that on there. And that, those are the things. Those are the trigger extenders. You can see the whole tr controller in all, I am really impressed with. It shipped really quickly. It said it was going to make in about 7 to 11 business days, I think. But it actually shipped in about a week. So it, it actually got to my house in about a week. So it didn't even take them as long as I was expecting it to, to uh, for them to make it. So yeah, here's basically the controller in its entirety. You've got the front, here's the top, you can see the back, with the scuff paddles, and there's the bottom. They're, it's pretty normal. It's, it's definitely just the same old controller that I'm used to, minus the fact that it's got the trigger extenders as well as the buttons. I am totally stoked with this. It looks absolutely amazing and I'm really excited to start using it. So yeah, I will actually get into just one other thing that it came with. So I got, I got, I should probably show you that. But basically it's just like a package and it's got the scuff magnet and this sort of bracelet sort of thing it looks like, but just make sure you don't lose the magnet. But um, if, you, if you guys didn't know, so basically I ordered the scuff with the paddles. You can change the paddles if you buy the, uh, I think it's called the electromagnetic remapping. So I got that because I wasn't sure if like I'd get bored with kind of the control scheme that I have, and I wanted to make sure I'd always be able to just do it and like change my controls if I needed to. Especially since I'm dropping this much money on a controller, it's about $200 uh, fully customized, and I think it looks great. But I wanted to make sure I had everything, absolutely everything that I wanted, and so that I wouldn't like mess up. Because right then I was thinking I was definitely going to use the paddles for probably reloading as well as. Um, I think I'm going to use it probably for just reloading and maybe grenades because that way you don't have to take your finger off the trigger. But it should help a bit. And yeah, so I want to make sure I could always change them if I needed to, especially if I'm going to use a different game um, or I want to change my control scheme because so, that would be a huge downside. So yeah, we got this bracelet, this electromagnetic remapping magnet thing. So you can see that. It just has a scuff logo on it, and then on the back it has this other like R U. I don't I don't even know what that is, but it looks looks pretty cool. You just kind of put it on, or you put it on something. I'm probably definitely not gonna wear this because it's kind of weird, but it's just to make sure that you don't lose the keychain. And then basically what you do to remap it also comes like the the guide to tell you how to how to do everything. But you're gonna hold this magnet on the back right there on the back of the controller. You can see you get really close. You can see the scuff logo right there. And so basically you place this on the scuff logo. Uh, I guess I don't think it really matters which way you put it. But then you hold down the just the paddle that you want to program and then you hold down the button you want to program it to and it programs it right there. So yeah, that's pretty much our unboxing video for you guys. Hope, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll get to see some more gameplay with this guy in the future. It is Real, I'm really excited to get to use this, and we'll be back probably in about a week's time with another unboxing and hopefully a montage, and I'll probably get to uh, playing a game with this probably tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.